Cowboys defeat the Detroit Red Wings 5-4 in a game that probably should have been 5-2, 5-3. Yeah. First of all, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. If you really enjoy it, subscribe. Talking about the Leafs for a second, they had a good game. They also did not have a good game. The fact that they had a lead and then Detroit would come back and then they get a lead and then Detroit would come back and have a one goal lead throughout almost the entire game. It, it was good by the Leafs to have these leads, but to allow Detroit to come back into the game is something that they need to fix. I'm gonna be honest with you real quick. I didn't get a chance to watch a lot of the game. I was coming home from the Marlies game and there was a stupid delay on the GO train and it just wasn't working out for me. So I, I watched some of it on the train. I watched some at home. I watched some highlights just to get a grip on what happened in the game. And I'll say a few things right now. One, it's a nice, thing to have Jake Muzzin score a goal. Uh, one of the things that I found interesting was after the game in his presser, I did watch that and he was just, he, he seemed very upset and I don't know why. Maybe it's the fact that he doesn't have to play with Justin Hall anymore and he really likes Justin Hall and TJ Brody's there now. He did specify that he, he likes playing with Brody as well. So that's one thing and I, I find it interesting because Muzzin's not having the best start to the season and He's get it's getting better and better and better, but it, it's still not up to the standards. And I, I wonder if he just is upset about that a little bit while also seeing the Leafs have that lead and then Detroit coming back and the Leafs getting in Detroit coming back, that upset him a little bit. Maybe he knows what it takes to win and he's just he wants a lot more out of himself and the team. But I just thought that was interesting. That was the one thing I wanted to point out first. Secondly, Michael Bunting. Michael freaking Bunting. A power play goal for him. Scarborough's finest. And I don't have anything bad to say here. I mean, a nice tip off of Jason Spezza slap pass. Michael Bunting is everything. He is a great player. He is a gritty player. He wears his heart on his sleeve and he wears his heart everywhere. And he's a great player, and we're lucky to have him on this team. Next, though, I want to talk a little bit about Alexander Kerfoot. Uh, a goal in this game, an assist. He really seems like he's gelling really well with Tavares and Marner, and that's a line that can be really good. As well, Nylander, Matthews, and Bunting, another line that was good. Unfortunately, Matthews and Nylander really didn't develop much into this game. Michael Bunting with the power play goal, of course, but... The Tavares line was really, really dominant in this game, and Tavares looks like he's taken another step in his game in these last few, and that's really good to see. And just the fact that Kerfoot has that chemistry just makes that line so much better. And then you have Mitch Marner as well, who is playing up to his standards and maybe even better than his standards at this point of the season. He also has got some new teeth, which is really nice to see. So you had Kerfoot with a goal. You had Muzzin, you had Bunting, you had Mitch Marner because there's a giveaway in front of Detroit's net and this guy just puts it in the empty net. Uh, that's a really good thing for him. Uh, it's, it's his first goal in a very, very long time and it's something that he needed really, really badly. And for some reason, I also feel like he wants more out of himself after that because there was points, even when the game ended, when it was 5-4, the camera went to him and he was just shaking his head like he, he was not happy with his game and that's a good sign. I, I know he's he's putting up points now and he, he's doing really, really good. He, he was doing good the whole time, but it just wasn't happening for him. It, it shows how much he cares, not only about his individual game, but about the whole team's game. and. And just having that lead and losing it, it shows that there's still a lot of more work that the Leafs need to do here. And hopefully it comes and hopefully we see that. But right now, the Leafs are scoring and they're scoring like they should, but they also shouldn't be giving up these leads. And last but not least, John Tavares. A goal to assist in this game, John Tavares is back, and he's back with a vengeance. I, I I, don't have anything bad to say about this guy. The goal he was able to set up for Alexander Kerfoot was just 
something you would see in the Louvre. I, I mean, just to fake out two defensemen who are on him and pretend like he's going to go around the net, slide it in front to Kerfoot, who did have a man on him, but it actually got to Kerfoot still, and he was able to put it in. It was nice to see, and nice to see him get a goal, because there's a lot of things that you like from John Tavares, and a goal is something that you do too. And, and maybe it's just because his son was in the building. He's mid... It's dad mode. He is in dad mode, and I'm ready for more dad mode. You take dad mode, inject it into my veins, because that was a great game by Tavares. And there's a lot of games that you see from him, and he does good stuff, but it goes under the radar. To have him have success like this in a game, it's just incredible to see, and incredible for him just to have those games, because it brings his confidence back up to a level where he, he just is good. You can tell when John Tavares is on his game because he's dangling everyone. He he has the puck. Nobody can get it off of him. He's so strong. And and with, with Tavares' game tonight, it, it looks like there's another level that he can reach in terms of his game this season. And if he can get there, that's incredible. There is one more thing I really need to talk about, and that's the Sandine and Lilligren pairing. I, I mean... I, no bad words. Rasmus Sandin had his parents in the building. He he played incredible. There was one point where I believe he had a like 96% expected goals for percentage, which it's mind-blowing because it's Rasmus Sandin, but as well Timothy Lilligren. I I mean the story continues to get better and better and I I feel so bad just because of Justin Hall. And he, he's now on the sidelines. And his, and his play wasn't good enough to be in the lineup if you have Sandine and Lilligren, who together are so good. And I feel bad for Hall, but at the same time, Lilligren has also been sitting out and he needed that chance. And tonight with Sandine, he got that chance. He played really, really good. And he seems like he belongs. There's games where... It shows that he still might be missing some things, or maybe not missing, but just showing a lack of experience. And in this game, he brought that experience to another level and showed why he should be in the NHL full-time. Now, though, I do want to go to the rating of the game because that's one of the most important things of the video. I've, I've spoken about all the players I want to talk about. I'm sorry if this wasn't a very in-depth video. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below because I didn't have a lot of time and I wish I had more. The Marlies are sort of my main focus at this point because it's a hockey team and I, I'm trying my best to report on them, interview them, be there for every game and practice. But in terms of these videos, let me know what you think of them because I, I really appreciate that. I really... I do like to know at all points what you guys think of the videos. So please, if you have any opinions, put them in the comment section down below. But now let's go to the rating of the game. The rating of this game chosen by around, around 12 people is a 6.2 out of 10. Now I disagree with this because even though I didn't watch the game, maybe it was just the storyline. Maybe it was just the fact that Tavares got three points. Bunting had a goal, Marner had a goal, Jake Muzzin, even though his game isn't doing the best, he had two points, a goal, and an assist. Maybe that's just why I think it should be a little bit higher, but there are also the bad points of when the Leafs got a lead, the Red Wings just came back, and although they didn't tie it, it was still a one-goal game, they were still in it at every single point, especially in the third period. So I understand that, but I'd give it a little bit higher, maybe a 7 a 7.5 just just a little bit higher just because of the storyline just because of Michael Bunting Mitch Marner John Tavares Peter Mrazek getting his first win as a Toronto Maple Leaf all of those things are so good and I enjoy it I do want to say that there, there were a few people in the replies saying John Tavares is best game in a while and I totally agree with that again you can tell when he's on his game because he's straight dangling he is straight shooting the puck with a lot of heaviness and that puck goes fast when it comes off his stick uh, Marner the same thing he's doing really really well and it's really nice to see him get rewarded for it because 
It's it's been a lot for him through these, I believe, eight games, and just for him to to start to get going, it, it's going to do a lot for his confidence, and it'll just continue to get better and better and better and better and better. Do I have anything else to say though? Anything on my mind? I mean, uh, Josh Hosang, another goal for the Marlies. Alex Steves with two goals. In his home debut as a Toronto Marley, those are two key guys that you got to watch out for. Joseph Wall, another win for the Marlies. They're an exciting team. And if the Leafs are doing bad at some point, I, I would like to say to you, just you should go watch the Marlies because they're an exciting team. You have Kirill Semyonov, you have Philip Kral, Christians Rubens. You have a lot of exciting players. Pavel Gogolev, Rich Kloon. That team's good. And they're going to be good. So you better watch them as much as you do the Leafs. Because they they earn it too. And I do want to specify if you have any questions about the Marlies. Because I know I haven't been making a lot of videos on them. I really haven't made much. But I, I will try and try and try my best to get videos out like that. If you have any thoughts or suggestions for Marlies videos. Put them in the comment section down below. But I, I will try my best. Especially because there's a lot of content I can be doing. I can be doing... I get armchair GM reviews, Marley stuff, Leaf stuff. I, I have a lot, and I also have a lot on my plate. So I'm going to try and do my best to curate everything together. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the Leafs, about the Marleys, put them in the comment section down below. That is, though, where I'm going to end off today's video. If you do enjoy it, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe. It helps a lot. Uh, anything else I have to say? No, not really. I, I mean, go Leafs, go. The Marlies are doing great, which is nice to see. The Leafs are doing a lot better, which is nice to see. And tomorrow's Halloween. And I guess, do I have a Halloween costume? Let me just uh, see you in the next video.